Hello. Today we want to consider question four of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination. That is a WASI 2022, the general comment paper. Question number four. All right. And there's the question. It says in a diagram, BCDF is a circle with center A. Angle BCD is equal to 2x plus 40 degrees. Angle BAD is equal to 5x minus 35 degrees. Angle BED is equal to 2y plus 10 degrees. And angle ADC is equal to 40 degrees. Find A, the values of x and y, B, angle ABC. Okay, so that's the question. Now, let's start. So let's assume that we have our diagram. Okay. Now, for us to find x and y, it means that we have to try and get some equation. But let's look at the diagram that we are having here. Some circuit theorems are going to work here. All right. Now, if A is the center, then the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. That is, if this is a chord, then the angle that this chord is having at the center or the angle that this chord is subtending at the center is twice the angle that the same chord is having at the circumference. If that is the case, then we are going to have our angle B A D being equal to two times angle B E D. What is angle B A D? Our angle B A D is the angle that we are having here, this particular angle. Okay, and that angle is 5x minus 35. This is equal to two times the angle at the circumference. That's angle BED. And what is angle BED? This is our angle BED. So we are going to have two times that. That is 2y plus 10. Okay. Now let's expand this. So we are going to have our 5x minus 35 is equal to 2 times the 2y. We are going to get our 4y plus 20. We simplify this further. So this is going to give us our 5x minus 4y is equal to 55. Okay, now we can take this as our first equation. Do we have any other property or theorem there that can help us to get another equation? Yes. If we are to consider the quadrilateral B, E, D, C, this quadrilateral four-sided plane figure. There is also uh, another theorem that works there. There are the angles in opposite segments sum up to 180 degrees. It means that whatever angle that we are having here, this angle and then this angle, indeed, they are going to sum up to 180 degrees. That is angles in opposite segment. If that is the case, then we are going to have angle B, E, D plus angle B, C, D. This should give us 180 degrees. What is angle B, E, D? Our angle B, E, D, we have 2Y plus 10 plus our angle B, C, D, B, C, D. That one too is 2X plus 40 degrees and this should give us 180 degrees. So we have to try simplifying this further. So we are going to have our 2x plus our 2y plus 50 degrees. And this is going to give us 180 degrees. From this equation, we are going to get our 2x plus 2y will be equal to 130 degrees. So this becomes our second equation. That is equation 2. So the two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, we are going to solve them simultaneously for x and y. Okay, so from our equation one, we had our 5x minus 4y is equal to 55. And our equation two, we had our 2x plus 2y is equal to 130 degrees. Okay. Now, whichever approach that we want to use is a choice. You can use substitution method, you can use elimination method. But I want to use elimination method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 
equation 2 by 2 or because I want to eliminate the y term. So I have to make sure the numerical coefficient of y in the two equations are the same. Okay, so multiplying equation 2 by 2, that is going to give me 2 multiplying the 2x plus 2 multiplying the 2y is equal to 2 multiplying the 130 degrees. All right, so this is going to give us 4x plus 4y is equal to 260 degrees. So this becomes my new equation. That is equation number 3. All right. Now I'm coming to use equation 1 and equation 3, all because the numerical coefficient of y in the two equations are the same. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the two equations. So I'm going to have my 5x minus 4y is equal to 55. That is the first equation. And then the third equation, that one too, is what? 4x plus 4y is equal to 260 degrees. Okay. So now let's add the two equations. All right. So 5x plus 4x, and this is going to give me now x minus 4y plus 4y is going to give us 0. And we are going to have 55 plus 260, and that is going to give us 315. All right. Now from this, we are solving for x. So what do we do? I have to divide this side by the coefficient of x, that is 9. I divide this side to by 9. This 9 cancels this 9. And we are going to be left with our x being equal to 35. After getting a value for x, we need the corresponding y value. So what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to substitute x being equal to 35 into any of the two equations. All right, so putting x being equal to 35 into one of the equations. So let's say equation number 2. All right. So we are going to substitute that into this particular equation. All right. So we are going to have our 2 times x and our x is 35 plus our 2y is equal to 130 degrees. This is going to give us 70 plus 2y is equal to 130. We are going to get our 2y to be equal to 60 degrees. We divide here by 2, we divide here by 2. And we are going to get our y to be equal to 30 degrees. So, yes, we have our x to be equal to what? x to be equal to 35 and our y to be equal to 30. These are our values for x and y. Now, we are left with the second part of the question. Because the question says we should find the values for x and y. So, we are done with the a part we are left with the b part that is angle abc okay so let's consider the diagram again if we want to find the value of angle abc that is this particular angle then we can consider the quadrilateral b a d c this particular quadrilateral now the sum of angles in a quadrilateral should give us 360 degrees so what we are going to do is in that case we need to find the value of this particular angle here you find the value of this particular angle. We already know this angle. And then we can add it to this. And then we equate it to 360 degrees. If that is the case, then our angle B, A, D, which was 5X minus 35, will be equal to 5 times X. We had a value for X to be equal to 35 minus 35. We simplify this and thus is going to give us 175 minus 35 and this is going to give us 140 okay we try finding angle b c d as well so angle b c d this one too is going to give us that is 2x plus 40 we had a value for x to be 35 so when we substitute we are going to get our 2 times 35 plus 40 and this is going to give us 70 plus 40 and this one too is going to give us 110 degrees if that is the case then considering the quadrilateral a b c d when we sum all the angles there we should get 360 degrees therefore 
angle A, B, C, plus our angle here. So this angle is angle B, C, D. So plus angle B, C, D, plus the angle that is the 40 degrees angle. And that one too is angle A, D, C. Okay. Plus our last angle, that is the angle that we are having here. All right. And that is angle B, A, D. Okay. So plus angle B, A, D. All right. This should give us 360 degrees. So we are going to have our angle A, B, C. That is angle A, B, C. Plus angle B, C, D. B, C, D, we had 110. So we had 110 degrees plus angle ADC, that is 40 degrees, plus angle BAD, and BAD was also 140 degrees. When you sum everything, this should give us 360 degrees. So we are going to have our angle ABC plus 290 degrees being equal to 360 degrees. All right, so angle ABC will be equal to 360 degrees minus 290 degrees and when we simplify this we are going to get 70 degrees therefore our angle a b c is equal to 70 degrees all right so this is how we can solve the question okay so this is where we are going to end today's video thank you for watching this video and bye bye